right, so it's slow carb brownie time and I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you really quickly and I'm also gonna put a printout of all the ingredients and the recipe down below. To start, we're gonna need vanilla, coconut nectar, instant coffee, this is optional, and some kind of protein powder of your choice. Today, I'm going with the Vega Chocolate protein powder. This is a pea-based protein, very good protein powder. You can also use J-Rob or any, any other natural protein powder that you like. A little bit of salt, some raw cacao nibs. This is also optional. You don't have to use the cacao nibs. You can use chocolate if you want, but these raw cacao nibs, very, very healthy and beneficial. Coconut oil, unsweetened cacao, three eggs, and the secret ingredient, black beans. I know, I know. Just stay with me here, okay? Stay with me. The black beans that we're gonna use are actually gonna be the base for the brownies. This is going to give them that meaty kind of brownie texture without adding any wheat, flour, gluten, or anything like that. These are very, very healthy, high in iron, high in fiber, all of that good stuff. So stick with me here. I know that right now you're making a really weird face and you're kind of grossed out, but just trust me on this, okay? You'll see at the end, these are gonna look and taste just like regular brownie. Okay, so you're gonna need a blender, and so let's go ahead and just put everything into the blender. Three eggs go into the blender. A tablespoon of the protein powder, about a pinch of salt, two thirds cup Truvia, one teaspoon of instant coffee. And this is definitely gonna give it a stronger flavor. If you don't like a bitter flavor, a little bit of a bitter flavor, I love the taste of coffee. Um, so I'm gonna add some coffee into mine, but if you don't like that, then just go ahead and skip that part. We're gonna use a quarter cup of cacao powder. Like I said earlier, make sure that your cacao powder is unsweetened. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is coconut nectar. I talked about this in my lean cranberry video. This is actually really high in minerals. It's got some amino acids in it. It's got some B vitamins in it. It's very low glycemic index, good stuff. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of coconut nectar. So coconut nectar is very, very thick. This is gonna actually give a great texture to the brownie. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of coconut oil. This is gonna keep them moist and keep them from drying out. And it's also gonna give your food lauric acid. Coconut oil is actually really high in lauric acid, which means it helps your body absorb nutrients while you eat. Your black beans should be rinsed and drained. So I'm just gonna throw these in there. I know what you're thinking, I know. I already told you, don't worry about it. It's gonna turn out awesome. Don't you worry. Would I lie to you? Oh, hold on. Hello. Hey, let me call you back after I'm done making history with these slow carb brownies, okay? Bye. Now we blend it all together. If you taste the batter, you will know that I'm not steering you wrong because it tastes like regular chocolate batter. What, do I have something on my face? Oh. Okay, the last thing you're gonna need is a can of tuna, so just open up your can of tuna, throw it into the brownie mix. You'll hardly be able to taste that tuna flavor, and in fact, it might accent and give it a delicious, fishy kind of chocolatey taste. Come on, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna add tuna into my brownies. Are you serious right now? You really think that I'm gonna add tuna into my oh, people? Come on. So, so upon making that first batch, I realized that my pan is way too big, but that's okay because Thanksgiving is coming up, so I'm gonna make these for my family. I've got my little sister coming over tomorrow, and hopefully she'll give these a try, although I doubt it. But. I'm gonna make a big batch to fill up the pan for you guys so that you can see how they're supposed to look. But you should use a small square brownie pan. All I had was this large pan and I didn't calculate correctly so I used about three cans of black beans. I just basically tripled the recipe um, to make sure that the pan fills up all the way. And that looks like a regular brownie batter. It's amazing. You're gonna lick the spoon, then you're gonna put it into your preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the edges start to pull away from the pan. That's how you know it's done. Okay, while those brownies cook, I wanna just mention I'm doing a Black Friday sale and a Cyber Monday sale. So it's going to be from Friday all the way to, to Monday night, till Monday at midnight. And I'm gonna announce my Black Friday sale and what exactly the sale entails on Thursday. So keep your eyes open for for that, um, and it's very, very exciting, it's very fun, and I, I'm so excited about my Black Friday sale. So, now that we got that covered, we're gonna just 
waste away the rest of the 30 to 35 minutes of the brownie cook time with what everybody does while they wait for brownies to cook. I'm gonna proceed to eat as many cucumbers as I possibly can within this time frame. This is cucumber number one. And 40. I think that just about does it. All right, my lovely subscribers. What I have here is the pan of brownies. I'm gonna show you up close what the pan of brownie looks like and the finished product. I already had a piece. They're so good. They're so rich and decadent. They taste exactly, exactly like brownies. You can do whatever you want with these. You can put peanut butter on them. You can put some raw almond butter on them. What I decided to do is put some raspberries and raw cacao nibs. So let me show you the finished product. Here's the pan of brownies. So here's the pan. I already cut some pieces out of there, but it looks exactly like regular brownies. But I'm not just gonna show you some regular old pan of brownies. Here's my culinary art piece. I garnished it, like I said, with raspberries and raw cacao nibs. You don't wanna put the raw cacao nibs in the batter because they're raw and the whole benefit is that they are raw. So if you cook them, some of the beneficial nutrients will be diminished. But let me show you what these look like and how pretty these brownies are. See that? Look how beautiful. They're moist, delicious, and yummy. all of you to try these as a dessert for your Thanksgiving holiday. It's something new and different that I'm sure you haven't tried before, but you're absolutely going to love it. And it's going to get that sweet tooth, that chocolate craving, but you're going to save yourself a whole lot of calories and you're actually going to be eating healthy food. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want more videos just like this, subscribe to my channel, like this video, favorite this video, share it with your friends for Thanksgiving. Sharing is caring. And also you can go to my website, leansecrets.com. It's called Lean Secrets because I wrote a book filled with all the secrets that you never ever knew about weight loss, that nobody ever told you about how to get lean, how to move your body, and how to even think to get and stay lean, firm, and toned for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, and before I forget, don't forget to check out my Facebook and my Twitter page. That's one of the best ways to get a hold of me if you have any health or fitness questions. So I'll put those links below as well as the printout for this recipe. All right guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Oh my God, it tastes like eating a chocolatey, moist brownie. This one's gonna be a hit, people. This one's gonna be a hit.